as we're working with these compound events, or we're interested in two events, and if they both occur at the same time, or if one or the other occurs, or if one influences the probability of the other, we arrive at our third formula, which is these conditional probabilities. Please remember these probability formulas do overlap with each other, so it's important that you're watching all three together. So hopefully you've already watched the video on the ands and the or probabilities, and all that's left is the conditional probability. A conditional probability is when we're asking what is the probability that B occurs if A, another event, has already occurred. The way we're going to write this formula is we ask what is the probability of B, and then we use a vertical line. That vertical line is red given. A has already occurred. So the probability of B given A. And the way we calculate the probability of B given A is we look at the probability that both occurred, the probability of A and B, and we divide it by the probability of the given information. In this case, the probability of A that was given to us. So for example, if we toss a die, what is the probability that we roll a 2 given we rolled an even? So to help us kind of visualize, we're tossing a die. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 options for a standard two-sided die. To figure out the numerator of our conditional probability, we want the probability that these both occur. How many options are both the number 2 and even at the same time? Well, the number 2 is the only one that is both even and the number 2. So there's only one out of six options that are both the number 2 and even. And then we're going to divide by the given information. And that given information is that the number is even. So the number of even numbers, there's one, two, three even numbers out of six. So we're going to take 1 sixth divided by 3 sixth. To make this easier on the calculator, the divide by sixth can reduce out. So it's really 1 over 3. And if we do 1 third on the calculator, we get a probability of 0.3333. Notice that normally the probability of rolling a 2 is 1 out of 6. But if we know that the dice is even, that shrinks the sample space that we're working with. And so it changes the probability, because now, knowing that we have an even, the probability of getting a 3 has moved up to 1 third.